Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you've all had a great week. So this is the last Halloween tutorial of 2023 that I am doing here on my channel. Um, I'm very sad about that. I have been enjoying filming Halloween makeup looks so much this year. I feel like I've improved this year so much on my makeup looks and just my creativity and my line work and a lot of you guys are noticing that as well and it means so much to me. I'm improving on myself and my art um, all the time and I um, think that is so important as an artist to always evolve and try new things. I've been really experimenting on TikTok with like transitions and stuff and getting out of my comfort zone and it's paying off. I really like the look of the videos that I'm putting out there so if you haven't followed me already then follow me on TikTok. It's just Alicia Jones with two S's. What has been your favorite Halloween makeup look this year? I would love to know let me know down below in the comments I honestly can't decide but I think my most impressive ones would probably have to be the dragon makeup look and the sea creature um, and I also really liked my skull makeup look and probably I really liked my spider makeup look. I don't know, I think that was really unique and different. And then it made me realize when I was thinking of all the looks I did this year and I was like, oh my goodness, I did like one makeup look using liquid latex and scare blood. But I think I tried to avoid gore because TikTok kept flagging my videos and like put that black screen over it where it says like content viewer discretion advice or whatever and you have to push watch anyway or something like it had that over four of my ripped and such clown videos so I was like ah, what is the point <laughs> so I think I avoided it really but I miss it and I only did like one like one or two easy-ish how I makeup looks this year like the others are a little bit um, difficult or take a little bit longer I mean they're not that difficult if you follow along with them but they do take a little bit longer um, so I thought I wanted to do something in today's video that is really quick um, a really quick and easy like really quick and easy um, tutorial for beginners um, on using liquid latex and how to create a simple cut so I'm literally gonna do like three little cuts on my face and show you how effective that can look and how spooky it can look you can also add this to any Halloween costume or look you've done already it just elevates it a little bit more I've done this in the past where I have done like exposed hand bones and exposed arm bones on my arm and have um, yeah added that to a look of mine so yeah this is just gonna be a really quick video I'm gonna talk you through it um, and yeah it's gonna be a lot of fun let's just hope that I don't spill liquid latex on my pants I'm gonna put some paper down um, but anyway what have you guys been up to I hope you guys have had a really good week so far um, today I had a really exciting opportunity I actually filmed an interview for a TV show called The Feed so they asked me heaps of Halloween related questions um, and showed a lot of my creative makeup looks and the hosts were so lovely their names were Monique and Ron um, they were so lovely and I'm, I'm so looking forward to seeing that episode air so once it does I might upload it to my YouTube channel and I might upload it to my socials because I think it looks like a really cool episode and it's just it's so me like I love it and they also show like other creators like doing transformations before I come on um, so yeah it's really amazing and I, I I honestly was so glad for that opportunity today um, and yeah it is next week so I can't wait to see it I'm also going um, up to Auckland to meet up with Darwin who's also in my social media agency he's a reporter for the feed this TV show and I'm doing like Halloween makeup on him and we're also doing like a TikTok collaboration so that should be really Really fun um, yeah I'm looking forward to that but anyway if you guys do like this video then please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel I upload every Monday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time and YouTube shorts every single day anyway let's just get started with the makeup okay so the first step I do is I take the body effects liquid latex so I think they have different sizes but I use the big bottle because I was using this all the time I've literally only used this once for Halloween so yeah by the way I was gonna film tomorrow this video and then I was like I already have my makeup done nicely for that TV show interview so I was like why not do the SFX cuts now even though it's like what's the time it's 8.07 and I haven't even had dinner yet, but this shouldn't take that long. I'm doing this with minimal tools. Like, I'm just pretending that you guys have, like, barely no brushes or makeup at home or tools or whatever. I would normally do this with, like, a little spatula or a spoolie. 
And then what I do is I like line this up. So I just go like this and I make sure I move my hair out the way. So this little piece, I don't want anything getting stuck to that. So I just do where the cut's gonna go, just like that. And then I will grab some toilet tissue, literally toilet tissue, and I just tear a little piece the size of that cut. So just like this. And I, I've got two ply toilet paper, so it's two layers. And I literally just stick this on top of that. Oh, don't get liquid latex in your hair like I just did. <laughs> ah, so I just stick that on top of the liquid latex like that. Now I just grab more liquid latex. Oh, I make sure I like do another little layer under there to make sure it's really like stuck down because sometimes this liquid latex can dry like super, super fast. So you just want to make sure it's like really really stuck down like this then you want to get some more um latex i'm literally just dipping it on my finger we can get messy here i honestly get so messy sometimes and make sure this doesn't go in your eye or near your eye it can kind of it smells really bad by the way and it can kind of sting your eyes a little bit not like if it goes in there but even if it's around your eyes like i find that it can sting mine a little bit so yeah just keep that in mind and by the way some people are allergic to liquid latex so i recommend to test this on your like elbow a little patch before you do this some people might not know that they have like a liquid latex allergy and we don't want you guys blaming me if some big rash or skin irritation occurs <laughs> so make sure that you just double check before you do this that is done and we're gonna wait for this to dry oh Oh my gosh, I literally have like, it stuck all over my fingers. Well, it just kind of peels off. So I just use that toilet paper to kind of just go like this. You get like little crusty fingers and it sticks everywhere. Um, I might do another one. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm filming one of these for TikTok as well. So I might just do one down here for the TikTok. Okay, so I'm gonna do one down here. Oh, see, that one really kind of like sting my eye. Oh, gets a little irritated, but that's okay. It's manageable. Oh, very sting stingy. Okay, we're going to stick this on and oh, cover that little cut. Like that. Some people use um, no toilet paper, but I like to just to make it really thick and just to make it look like a big flap of skin. And you can also get liquid latex that's like a beige tone to kind of like suit um, skin tones. Um, and I don't know if you can get like darker liquid latex. It would be handy, like if you are a really dark skin tone. I'm actually not sure, but um, it doesn't really matter anyway because you use your foundation to cover over this. Oh my gosh, let's see my eyes stinging. Look. Um, so anyway, the favorite foundation of the moment is the Thin Lizzy Airbrushed Silk Foundation. I think my code Alicia20 may still be active for their website and I do make some commission off this. I always forget to like promote my code. So yeah, if you do purchase Thin Lizzy, it would mean a lot if you use my code because like I said, I do make some commission, but honestly, I have been loving this foundation. It's just so flawless. I've even been liking it more than my NARS. So then what you wanna do is take a sponge, wet it. Don't get it too wet, just a little bit damp. And then dab down the foundation. Now it's best to get a foundation that's like one or two tones like darker than your skin because the toilet paper is so white. So you really wanna like match this in with your skin tone. Like look at that, it looks way lighter. So we're just gonna do everything we can to darken this up and make it match my skin tone. And then what you wanna do is take your setting powder, or you can just use a bronzer straight away, but I just like to take a setting powder. This one's so affordable, this one's Jordana, Forever Flawless Press Powder. I've honestly been using this one a lot and I really like it. It's literally from Jordana, like from the $2 shop. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna 
press this in. Being honest, I have so missed speaking to the camera. Like, I have done two speaking to the camera intros for my last two Halloween looks, but I've really missed doing it. Um, Halloween is fun and all, and filming tutorials is all, is really fun, but I have missed, like, my vlogs and my speaking to the camera and, like, doing normal makeup looks in front of the camera. Like, I've actually really missed it, so I can't wait to get back into it. I'm just taking the Milani Gilded Mini Eyeshadow Palette with these, like, much darker brown shades. I've been really liking this eyeshadow palette, by the way. You can get this from Farmers. Very cool. I've been using this a lot. That's what I got on my eyes today. I really like this palette. So I'm going to take, like, hmm. I'm going to take a little bit of this shade, but this shade mix, this darker brown. Okay, that's slightly better, just matching it to my skin. Tone. Yeah, that's a little better. Okay, so now that that's done, you want to get some scissors, and I just realized I don't know where my nail scissors are, so this is going to be a fail. It is 8.30 and getting quite late. I'm actually so starving, and Matthew's like, do you want a bite of dinner? He knows that I've done that sometimes. Like, when I'm filming TikToks, I quickly take a bite and then finish the rest afterwards, because usually I have, like, big creative makeup looks on, like, teeth and stuff, and I don't want to, like, ruin it. But anyway, he's just made this. Tastes so good. It's like Chinese rice risotto, rice with veggies. And these vegetarian sausages, which I really like. These are sage and onion flavored. This is vegan aioli, so delicious. Oh my God. This is dedication. Like the last, the last like month. The last like month I've been eating dinner like late as big days. Big filming guys. Um, I don't think people can see the effort that goes behind, like, filming videos and content. It's so much effort, and I think it's probably more so what I do, because I'm doing, like, crazy creative looks and stuff, but it still takes so long, even to, like, film a normal makeup tutorial. That will take, like, say, an hour and a half, and then it takes me, like, up to four hours to edit the video, then it takes me like 20 minutes to do the thumbnail, then you have to do like the title, description, the tags, like it takes, it takes a lot. It's like almost two days worth of work to get up one YouTube video, and then I'm filming all the TikToks, all the transitions and stuff, which takes like two hours, and then I'm like editing images. It's honestly a full-time job. It's crazy. Um... So yeah, anyway, I'm going to stop eating on camera because this is not what you came here for, so. Okay, I was just going to have a bite of dinner, but I had the whole thing because I was that hungry. Um, so now, next step, I'm going to take my nail scissors. Oh, these aren't nail scissors. I lost my nail scissors. I don't know where I put them. So if you have nail scissors, take your nail scissors. They're like those small, like, silver scissors used to, like, trim your nails and toes. We are literally going to start chopping. <laughs> So what you want to do is take the end. Oh, this is so much harder without nails. Oh, it's not bad. Oh, no, it's bad. So what you want to do is dig underneath the liquid latex. And honestly, this looks painful and sore, but honestly, it isn't at all. Um, you just want to slowly go under it and just slice. Honestly, this looks bad and it looks like I'm cutting my skin. But you can just feel the scissors like... Um, just sliding on the top of the surface of your skin. Like, honestly, when you do this, it's not scary. After you cut a little slice, you want to take your foundation again and just go on in here with the foundation because you, you don't want, like, the toilet tissue to show because people don't have, like, paper white skin there we go oh that was a clean little cut for all my basic eyeshadow colors i use the body effects vibrant palette which has all of the eyeshadow colors you need and here you can tap this black here and then go in the cut here and just start filling in that little cut with black because you want to add depth to the cut. And don't worry if you like go a little bit over these flaps with black, that's actually going to add an effect. So just, yeah, 
just go slightly over the edge like this with the black. Now I'm gonna add like a little bit of bruising. I'm gonna take this like reddish color here and this purple from this palette. So what you wanna do is just stipple a little bit of red around and purple just to make it look like, you know, it's bruising. Just kind of blend it in with your finger. Smudge everything in. Oh, I'll add a little bit of red like in certain areas, not too intense. Add it on top of the cut, like this, whatever. If you feel like you've gone a bit too hard on the bruising, you can just grab the beauty blender and blend it just a little bit so it's not too intense. And then the last step is to get some scab blood. So I use the Ben Nye Thick Blood, which I really like. I think this is an amazing um, product to use for Halloween. Don't take the brush, this will ruin your brushes. As you can see, I take the back of a brush. Um, or just take the back of like a stick or spatula or something, but I'm doing basic here for you guys. So the back of any, like a back of a makeup brush will work. And you just wanna scab what it looks like that way better than any $2 shop blood and what you want to do is just like pack it in here like this gross so this definitely is the star of the show this product and I recommend it to anyone I'm gonna take some and just kind of like smudge it not too much but smudge like a little bit like oh, around the cut area like that. After you really like fill in that cut and under those flaps, to make the flap stay open, what I will do is I'll grab like a whole hunk of scab blood like that and then I'll just like cover the flap as well on the inside. That is always important. Cover the flap on the inside. Gross. And like sticks out from the forehead when you like look on the side as well. So yeah, hopefully this will gross people out. Sometimes I use the scab blood to like hide some of the um, liquid latex, like where it looks not so realistic so I might go like this just to cover like the edging kind of thing grab a hunk and then put it underneath the flap so I'm putting it on the top flap so that one can stay open okay I'm happy with that creepy creepy yeah like I said they look really real on the side like see it's like 3d People thought it was a filter when I did this ages ago and then I went ooh like this and then they freaked out. Okay, so I'm gonna come back. I'm just gonna do one more cut like here on my chin for added extra effect and I will be back. Okay, so I just went off camera and did this slice here. I did like a little TikTok tutorial. It was like an eight minute video. So let's hope I can cut that down. But ooh, look at this, gross. Looks like I've just been like just taking the knife and slice my face up. I hope you guys liked this easy special effects liquid latex cut tutorial. Um, I really like this. I think it looks so effective. You can honestly just do cuts like on your face like this or make them like come down your neck um, and chest for extra effect. Or you can add this to any Halloween makeup look like if you're doing a clown or a skull or anything like that you can just add this to your body or your arms or whatever yeah this is what it looks like very gruesome covered in gashes like this um what do you guys want to see from now because i'm gonna have a little bit of a rest from halloween makeup looks um i feel like i've got a well-deserved rest We're going to japan in two weeks which i'm really looking forward to um that's pretty much like a whole month by the time we like pack and get over jet lag and stuff so i'm really looking forward to that um and that will be the break that we need because i've had such a busy two months leading up until halloween um and i know there's still like this weekend and next weekend to celebrate it 
but I wanted to get this video up early because I wanted more people to see it before they celebrate Halloween. So if you guys like this video, then don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday at 8 a.m. New Zealand time and YouTube shorts every day. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. It's just Alicia Jones, two S's. And also Facebook, Alicia Jones Makeup Tutorials. Um, let me know down below in the comments what you want to see next after I get back from Japan. I'll obviously have like a Japan vlog coming up so shortly afterwards. Um, so yeah, there's just going to be a little bit of a time where you're going to see no videos from me on my channel. Um, I might try and film like a Japanese, like eating Japanese candy video when we're over in Japan. And I might try and film that from my phone and upload it straight from my phone with no edits. We'll see how that goes. But anyway, I hope you guys liked this look and please have an amazing Halloween if you are celebrating it this weekend. What are you guys being for Halloween? Let me know down below in the comments. I'd love to know what you wanna be. Have you recreated any of my Halloween looks this year or in the past? If you have, please let me know. And don't forget to tag me on Instagram because I am sharing all of your crea recreations on my stories and tagging you guys. And I've been loving seeing your looks so far this year. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great weekend and I'm sure I will see you in one more video after this before we go to Japan. Have a great Halloween weekend if you are celebrating it this weekend and I'll see you guys in my next week's video. Bye!